Welcome to r slash reddit revenge. This is a story of someone getting back at someone with revenge, after being wronged. Thank you friends for subscribing to the channel, and for so many likes. Today's story is, don't do your job, sexist, a math teacher, have fun getting fired. I'd like to mention that I'm gonna sound like an a-hole in this story, because I was. This isn't a good way to deal with things, and I do wish I had just done some things differently to get the same result. I'm not proud of what I did, but I wanted to put it somewhere. Bit of backstory, I have ADHD and have had problems in school. It's not that I'm dumb, but if something doesn't interest me, I don't want to learn it. I take a lot of time after school with my parents to help me relearn material in a way that interests me. I'm strong in subjects I like, such as English, science, and art. But subjects like math I had a lot of difficulty finding interest and therefore needed more help. I also live in Canada and the way we do our grades is basically kindergarten and grades 1 through 12, very simple. Since I'm medically diagnosed with ADHD, I also have an ILP, which stands for Individual Learning Plan. This is for students who have medically diagnosed learning disabilities and outlines how I learn the best and in what conditions. Basically, I work better when I have my tasks set on a list and I'm in a room alone to work. I did this for a lot of tests and most of my teachers are understanding about this and would comply, even when I changed high schools. I changed high schools at the end of grade 10 so I could start my grade 11. This is because of bullying issues, and the high school I switched to had an amazingly well-known art teacher. Shout out to Mr. K. There's also what's known as grad parties for basically all of grade 12, and they start before school, and one literally the night before the first day. This is important. The first impact. In my first day of class of grade 12, I was sick and missed everything. Whatever, one more day of summer, right? Wrong. It was a stomach flu and it sucked. And so my second day and I get my course schedule. I go to class early because I have math right away. I have my copy of In-Depth Individual Learning Plan ILP, and I make my introductions and apologize for being sick the previous day. We shall call him Mr. S. He makes a joke about me being too hungover, and when I correct him and tell him I was actually ill, he gave me that sure you were look. Whatever. I hand him my ILP and explain what my learning needs are and such, and that all the tests I take have to go to a solitary room. School has these set up for people like me. He nods and kind of brushes it off, and we chat before the bell. Couple weeks in, and I'm struggling really badly. Multiple reasons. My grade 11 math teacher was SH and did not teach us that well. Mr. S is also not following my ILP, even though I asked him to, which miffs me, but whatever. I'm too shy in the beginning to really ask for help, but when I do, I get the most half A explanations. When I ask him to put things in a list form for me, he says he will next time and never does. I also began noticing he dropped pencils a lot. Like a lot a lot. Like only around the five female students in the class and asking us to pick them up a lot. The class material is getting increasingly more difficult and I ask for help from other students and friends. My mom is also bad at math and my dad, who's great at math, is up in the oil rigs up north. Didn't bother asking my sister. Couple months in and he pulls me aside to tell me I'm failing and if I wanted to pass, I'd have to do a lot of extra work. This ticks me off because I ain't learning SH because of him. But I keep my cool kinda. I accept the extra work and point out he's not been following my learning plan and I might do better if he started reading it. He basically gives me a 5 minute speech on why those things are useless, I'm just not applying myself and his teaching methods work for everyone. But the kicker for me was that he said ADHD wasn't real, it made me so mad. I started coming into his class late with Starbucks or just not show up. He said I wasn't applying myself so he can F off. If I'm gonna be excused of it, might as well. This obviously catches the student guidance counselor and I get pulled in to discuss my sudden lack of attendance. She's very nice and listens to me and tells me word for word, some people you have to put up with, even if they're a-holes, but unless you've got proof they're bad, you can't just get rid of them, and then basically chatted with me about my classes to take up the rest of class period. I told her how he wasn't following my learning plan and what he said about it and my learning disability, because that's what it is, folks. She takes it into note and asks if I wanted to start what basically is like mental training to help you deal with it. This would be on top of me already taking a strong dose of meds. She's super happy that I take her up on the offer and offer to do this during my spare empty period. Basic stuff that I found helped a little bit, but not like an overnight change. I still use these kinds of tips. So that puts me in good standing with her. I still skip his class from time to time and walk in with Starbucks, but less often, because again, F this guy. Second impact. I had gotten sick during mid-semester and missed three days of class and despite the fact I requested the worksheets and my parents excused my absence. He basically said he already gave them to me. He didn't and that if I wasn't so irresponsible, I'd have kept them in my purse. It's a messenger bag, you swine. 
At this point I realized he might be mistreating me because I was a girl. Well, not just that, more like a bunch of micro things that didn't just happen to me, but to the other five girls in this class. I.e. the pencil thing. Often if a girl raised her hand, gave an answer, he would make an answer as well, then do the math to prove who was right, but didn't do this the other way around. And other certain mannerisms that made us girls feel uncomfortable. I was unhappy, but since I had no proof, I couldn't do SH. My grades were in the toilet, and my parents were hounding me for it. I cried a lot because of the stress, but I was still doing good in my other subjects, just not math and another subject. Third and final impact. I walked to class early to request some extra work to get my grades up and get some friends to help me learn the material. As I'm approaching, I can hear him laughing loudly with another male teacher. When I peek in the room, it's well-known and hated gym teacher. He's just an A. His favorite thing was the beep test, apparently. But they're talking about someone, and when I get closer, I realize he's talking about my female classmates. They say it was slim pickings this year, because Mr. S only had five girls in his class. There were three more, but they transferred out. A voice in my head, oddly sounding like my sister's, said, take out your phone and record this, which is what I do. And boy, I pick the best time. They start talking about really inappropriate SH, the two dudes in their mid-40s should not say about 16-year-old girls, commenting from their bodies to the way they dress and crap. Then the little a-hole starts talking about me. It's creepy AF, but he also goes on to say that I'm dumb and how he's going to fail me and see me next year. Basically, I don't get to graduate if he fails me. Their conversation dwindles down, and I'm livid, and I just leave school and walk home. I should mention it's a 40-minute walk that goes up a lot of stairs, but I was so mad I effing power walked home in 20 while muttering SH I was planning. F that guy, I'm not doing this SH today. The first slice of revenge. I had to be smart about this. So I saved this video on my computer and my student email. I wait a week before I confront, and in this time I act like I'm trying my best to get my grades up, and at the end of the week when everyone is working on worksheets and stuff, I whisper, Mr. S, come to the hallway to discuss my grades and what I can do to raise them, as if I'm embarrassed that I'm failing, which is kind of true. He agrees, and I make sure to take my phone with me. He goes on to say that at this point, since there's only two months left, there's a strong possibility that I'm going to be held back from grad because of failing his class. I again tell him that he hasn't been following the learning plan and that I've seeked additional help for my ADHD. Just as I suspected, he goes off again on how it's all made up and a waste of time and I should have focused more on studying. F you bud, I studied your dumb yellow booklets, saying a lot more things, except the voice recording app on my phone was mysteriously running. Oops. When he's done, he has his chest puffed out, looking proud he just tried to humiliate me a second time. I smile and say very well then. I pull my phone app and shut off the recorder before he noticed, and go into my gallery and pull up the video. I press play and lift the phone up for him to see. If you don't pass me, I'll make sure that the PTA, the school board, the principal, and every student in this high school gets this video. He gets red in the face, hissing at me for recording him, how no one will believe me, and a bunch of other crap, and what makes it better is that the video is still playing, and it gets to the part where he calls me a moron and a ditz, as I'm sitting there with an SH eating grin. As I'm smiling and he's like whisper yelling at me, I open up my student email and load the video into an email and selection a feature that is basically in everyone. Normally it's just used for informing about class elections and sports games and dances. I load it up and show him my screen of what I'm about to do. He goes pale white and is suddenly much more compliant. I tell him I'll give him the weekend to think it over and that I'm leaving class to go to the library. Monday rolls around and I get to class early. Why wouldn't I? I have a very important teacher meeting. He's at his desk and when he sees me he asks me to close the door so that no one can eavesdrop on our conversation. I make a comment about how he should probably make that a habit. He sits down and we cut out a deal I came up with while taking a shower that morning. He's going to give me an SH ton of work booklets and no matter what's in them, he's going to make them from 60-80% to 80% with a gradual increase. Next was that I was going to take all the tests I missed from skipping and again same deal. With the final exam he was going to give me either 65% or 75%. I told him I'd leave that choice to him. I'd also show up to class regularly. He agrees this is fine and a good plan, because if I started getting good grades out of nowhere it'd look suspicious. I make a passive aggressive comment about being pretty smart for a ditz. We agreed that I would delete the video at the end of the exam and he would watch me do it. I basically turn in booklets filled with doodles. Originally I tried but I realized that he was throwing them out no matter what the answer was, so I said F it. For an entire booklet I just drew ducks in the answer boxes. 12 pages of duckies. I would hand him a booklet and he would more or less drop it in the trash when no one was looking. Final exam time comes around. I take it, show me deleting the video, and the B gave me a 60% flat. It was only 5% off, but I'm petty. The second helping of revenge. My parents are satisfied with my marks, but wished I had done a little better. This gives me an opportunity. 
I tell my parents about how he felt on ADHD in my ILP, topping it off with his little rampage voice recording. My dad is seeing red. He wants to go down there and throw hands, but my mom, ever the buzzkill, told him to take the diplomatic route. Thanks, mom. I wanted to see dad throw down. So they have to send the voice recording and file a complaint with the school. Here's the kicker. Despite Mr. S has been there a long time, it's stated on my school record that I have ADHD, and when I was struggling, I started taking counseling lessons. But these things still take time, and I'm okay to let things slide. After all, there's only a week left for grad class. It's really just college prep stuff. Until I find out one of the girls in class didn't pass and had to take his class again next year, which meant no grad, and she was devastated because she thought she was doing well. I'm like, F it, you're coming to grad, B. I don't even know her, but I know that shady B, Mr. S, is being a D. I know she attended class in SH. So she gets a message from me saying we gotta hang out and that it's important. Luckily, she's the kind of person that's like, sure, let's do it because she and I talk sometimes, and I didn't have to convince her. I confide about the video, not about me blackmailing him though, and show it to her. I kinda wish I didn't because she became hysterical and was crying and swearing, but eventually calms down enough to ask me what she should do. I told her I would send her a copy to give to her mom, and I would take care of the rest. Her and her mom show the video to the counselor, who basically slaps her back on the grad list, and investigation will be done. Nope, not good enough for me. Investigations lead nowhere, and I don't know how many people he's done this to, but it's probably a lot. I sent the video to every teacher, student, school district member I could think of. F, I would have sent it to the janitors if I had their email, right on the last day of school. Right before I left I saw Mr. S and gave him an evil smile and waved. He had no idea. He was fired on the spot something like an hour after I left. His teaching license got revoked, and I'm pretty sure he moved, because people were vandalizing his house and car. His wife also left him. Get F, Mr. S. I hope you love this story. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when the new video comes out.